We'll give them the good morning. Hi, good morning, folks. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad to see us this morning? What happened? You did that earlier on your show. <laughs> I am so worried about people who are gonna show up and they're gonna make derogatory <laughs> comments about the squalor that I live in. Wait a minute. This isn't squalor. Well, not anymore. After a week of cleaning up. Oh, gee, let's hear all about it, right? Now, this is going on my old geezer's channel. Old geezers, I want you to pay attention to two things. First of all, don't ever get yourself involved. Secondly, refer to number one, okay? Because when you let somebody on your computer, you don't know what the hell they're doing on Facebook and writing this all of the crap around. I've had, I'm pretty sure I got death threats a couple of times from that stuff that you wrote on there. Don't write it. <clears throat> anyway, my, <clears throat> this has been so exciting. I haven't had this much fun in God years. It's been, oh, vacuuming and cleaning. She's over here bitching and moaning. Oh, I gotta scrub this, I gotta scrub that. I said, don't do it. Don't do it because I know sooner or later I'm gonna have to pay for it. Now I am. Okay. No, wait a minute, I'm not done yet. So she's, I'll tell you another thing, old geezers. If you get a female, or one of those guys that, you know, I've never felt so gay in my life. I figure I turned gay this week, you know, like, oh, my apartment is so, oh. This apartment finally looks like a woman could live in it. Not necessarily. I've seen guys' apartments that are gays are just, oh. Goodness, they're just so Oh, lovely. don't knock it. Don't knock it. I'm not knocking it. But I mean, I have never seen a woman get more paranoid over... Well, I'll tell you how long this whole thing lasted. But does anybody really care? I mean, you know. So, Well, anyway. get to it. You did get inspected by the manager herself. She likes me. Oh, this is the answer to every man. She likes me. What's that supposed to do? Get you off scot-free? Well, sometimes things just get too bad. Well, wait a and minute. You can't even count on the, them liking you. Wait, wait a second now. What if the manager was a man? And the manager likes me, and I'm in, I'm in deep doggy do on that one, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, most of the time, I think apartment complexes are better off with women as managers because you go. women are housekeepers. How the hell do you know? Well, that's their job. That's been their work for centuries. Yes. Having the kids, Wait a minute. taking care of them. Now you've folks. told me Very over... important work. Well, the one is, but I the was, other... I'm trying to make a statement here. The statement is simply this. You have gotten me so worked up over I might be evicted because of I have things on the floor and I have cockroaches. Everybody's got cockroaches. You want to see cockroaches? Go down to Houston. But not a billion. Oh. Not a billion. What? Did you count every one of those? <laughs> I thought you got 200,000 and quit. Couldn't count anymore. Go to my day. channel. See the video I took when this all started. You'll see the evidence. Even in the freezer. There's not too many people that keep cockroaches in their freezers. Well, that's not my problem, that. all right? 
If you don't want cockroaches in your freezer, <laughs> then don't put them in there, folks. <laughs> and seriously. <laughs> they just went in there by themselves. They go in a, it's not a metamorphosis type thing. It's just, they just, you know, like, don't do anything for years and years and years. Hey, we've got people that are, that are in uh, cryonic, uh, they, they expect they're going to come back alive again. Oh, geezers. I'll Wait tell you a minute. A secret. This is how you get cockroaches. You don't wash your dishes every day. Oh, I you, didn't know that. Let you let them sit. I did not know that. In Phoenix, in Utah, where it's cold in the winter, you can get away with that. In Arizona, you can't. Yeah, but the problem is, is I live in. Almost an incarcerated, uh, over large cell. I can I can open the window, close the window, turn the air conditioning on, turn it off, turn the heat on, just have a fan going through here. I'm not living out in the like. <clears throat> we do have electricity here, you know, and uh, we don't have ice boxes. We have refrigerators. Well, now, I'll tell I, you wait what. See, I knew you were going to do this to me. What you need to I aim have, for. I have an axe to grind here. And, um. What? An axe to grind with me? Because I tried to save you? That's right. From being put on a blacklist of people <laughs> in trouble with da, da, their da, da, housekeeping. Da, da, da. Why? Why is. <laughs> You know, the only reason I put up with you is because I can hardly get a sentence together without you butting in already. So here we go. Now, this is exciting. I stayed up till about, you know, one, or one o'clock in the morning. Got up at five this morning. And I've been, you know, sipping ever since. And you know why? It's because this woman's paranoia is driving me up the wall. Well, what if they find all of these things over here? What if they do that? What if they do that? What if they do this? I said, well, you know, like I've owned apartment buildings. You before. would not believe that anybody there would be evicted I, from this apartment complex. Not for not for spitting on somebody, <laughs> but I obviously they have. Obviously, they have. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, don't get involved, and seriously, don't get involved with anybody who thinks that they are a better housekeeper than you when they are not. <laughs> Do you believe that I am actually a worse? Nobody could be as fat as he is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. I'm glad you brought I that I wash up. my dishes every day. I am glad you that brought... That makes me right there I am glad house. you brought that up because I was afraid you'd get a little too upset when I brought it up. The next one I'm going to do is we're going to go through your apartment. And I'll be handling the camera work. And we'll go through the, the living room and then the bedroom. And we'll just... Revenge. He's plotting revenge. It's not revenge. <laughs> I'm just now I've got to get ready for inspection from him and his camera. <laughs> just like I help him get ready for inspection. Well, yeah, but see, the nice He part... had been picked out by the manager for inspection, which caused me to be suspicious because I'm a suspicious person when it comes to managers. I know that. So uh, in these places, I, I was hoping that you wouldn't take it. Uh, you know, nothing personal, but I think it's time that I go up in your apartment, and then we'll, what we'll do is just basically walk through. <laughs> Ten minutes of looking at your apartment oh. and compare it to my apartment. And he's, then oh, we will let anybody he's make their plotting. decision. Well, what do you think? Plotting. He's what plotting. Think? <laughs> well, what do you think, folks? You think that uh, my apartment 
is squalor. Now this woman, she's already told me she knows squalor. And believe me, I believe you. Say, I do know squalor. You know yes. squalor. I now, believe, see, I don't know squalor. I, I know what it is in a dictionary. I've looked it up. I know what a thesaurus is. 25 I've years. I've looked it up. Squalor, I, I have no idea. I never lived in squalor. I lived in Ferguson. I've lived in St. Louis. <laughs> I, he lived in squalor, Mississippi. I, I, I lived in, can you <laughs> but now in, he lives in squalor, his town, Arizona. The name of his town was Blackjack, Missouri, okay? Blackjack, Missouri. <laughs> and the cheapest, well, the, house, reason, the cheapest house there was like, oh. oh. Well, the reason why I'm so paranoid is because there would be times when I had chronic fatigue syndrome and couldn't do anything, even hardly walk across the street or go to the store or anything, and my housekeeping suffered. So I was always afraid that I might sink to such a level that I wouldn't be able to do my housework. Uh -huh. Enough to pass inspection. And this doesn't mean that I'm the greatest housekeeper in the world. Well, you already said see. that before. Now As I'm gonna reiterate one other thing. I'm not afraid to have my apartment inspected, but give me a few days to get it in shape, okay? <laughs> <laughs> See, there we are again, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have a warning, just like you got warning. We got a week's no. warning. No, it wasn't a warning. Your apartment it's not will a be inspected. It is not a warning. It did not say. <laughs> It's I said, know well enough to give people warning. I've they never know lived in a place before they, in my life. They know if they if they drop in on them, I unexpected. God only knows what they'll find. But they they found out that if well, the this people is are a, scared enough and clean up. What are you talking about? This, this used to be good. a retirement. This is a good. retirement place. See, a week ago he was in squalor. Now he passed. I know. Yeah, right. The manager didn't say anything. That's right. That's what you want. You want a manager who doesn't put your name up to the top of the list. Problem people. They walked in, walked <laughs> out, and signed this. That's you know? what you want. Believe me, that's I, what you are I could have had that for. without doing all this. What do you think they were going to do? Pat you on the back and say, well, well done? One of the problems is... You don't these, want to call attention. These women like me. They don't like you. <laughs> so when they go to your apartment, they're going to get a tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> the battle. <laughs> the, the battle of the ages, right? Okay. Ah, no problem. All now, right. I want to tell you one thing. That uh, this woman is a little um, <laughs> hyper. <laughs> And we're going to give her some lunch. Uh, yeah, it's please 11, give me some lunch. 11.30. Please give me some lunch. 11.30. I've had a hard morning. No, you haven't. Just relax. You still got it. ready. We got see. inspected. Let, you got is. inspected. See what time it's 11.23. 11.33. Yeah, you got uh, one minute. Now, I'm going to tell you one more thing. And this is for uh, the record. This futon will not be here at the end of the month. Now watch this one. This out of blow. It's going to have a, accomplish a miracle. This futon is going to disappear. <laughs> no, nope, nope, <laughs> it's going through the door. <laughs> it won't. It will not disappear. We'll be sitting in camp chairs next time you see us. So I told you, it's not until the end of the month. Oh, not till the end of the month? Oh, good, good. We have till the end of the month with this food time. And he's had it. I can move okay. it to your apartment. What do you think? I can't take any more excitement. But he had to have his say on the old geezers channel. I did. I'm going to tell you one thing on the old geezers. If you're not paying attention to what whoever it is that's putting stuff up on your Facebook, <laughs> Oh, oh. I'm in Making all the snide, snide comments up there. And there's two reasons I don't read anything that you put up there. 
The first reason is, is I, uh, I don't care. The second reason is, if I read it, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> that's all I, folks, that's all I can, Bye, that's all the fun I can take. I'm starving. Yeah, there I'm she starving. goes. I'm <laughs> starving. Okay, well, you can eat whatever you want to eat. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't this fun? <laughs>